Right, so this is it. Uh, def- here, shut up, shut up. Defending UK nukes, the secret armed police. Shall we react? Bloody bastards. Fuck yeah. Who's yeah. yelling? You don't have to react. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna cool. activate the stream for the guys in the Discord. Hang on. Uh, okay, that makes my life a bit easier. Can you see it now in the Discord? Yep. You can yep. see it. All right. So defending the UK's nukes, the secret armed police. We really do walk that knife edge. Is is the top thing. That's Ali. I'm sure right. Rogan Hang walk on. more edge than they do. YouTube are greedy bastards. Get the buy me a beer on your channel. Yes, do it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, defending UK nukes. I'll look at the chat, by the way. We've got two on Twitch, ten on YouTube. Very nice. Uh, So, let's read the little spiel first. Who are the Ministry of Defence Police? What do they do? Hannah King has been finding out. Right. Before we go into this, I always like to check the comments. Um, What? Oh my god, is that Ross Kemp doing Ross Kemp things? Oh my god, Ross Kemp. It is. Oh, we can react to that after. Oh yeah, I was actually hey. not a bad video. He fucking he's in with the uh, counter terror unit in a fucking kill house sort of situation. Okay, that could be sick. Um, where's where's taken out. where's the have they deactivated comments on this or something? They yeah, probably they did. But you been okay. yeah. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let's let's react. Let's see where we go. Let's find out. Stand by, stand by. They're initiating the stop. Oh, police! Show me your hands! Oh, was that a C8? No. Was that a C8? Hang on. Show me your hands! I think it was. I yeah. thought I thought mod yeah. police use the MP7. I'm assuming it depends. I think it depends on where they're based. Oh, okay. Because I know the nuclear constabul... Con- constab- I can't the say CNC. It. The CNC the use the MP7. Um, I think it just depends where they are. Okay, and he's using his oh, ACOG, yeah. right? He's he's using the ACOG, but his eye, his line of sight, is just looking over the top of it. I hope uh, he doesn't have, have an R and R on it. Yeah, he's he's got the he's got the battle sight on the top, right? But his eye, his line of sight, is just looking like like over to the the right. So he's doing what every squad he does in exercise when you have to fire blanks and just just. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm always. I'm, I'm taking it serious. Anyway. Let's carry on. Who are the MDP? Oh, police, stay where you are. Don't move. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Keep your hands where I can see them. Do not move. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are now. Get out of the they are not yeah. military police. Who we love. We love the RMPs, don't we, boys? Totally. Totally. Don't, no, don't totally. we, boys? No, there's no hate there. We don't make nasty totally videos. Totally no well. hate. Oh, uh, Rex oh. says L11 9A1s. Are they? No. Surely that's the... Uh, marksman rifle, right? No, the that's the L one two nine. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like it looks to me yeah. like a like a C eight Demarco. That's what I know it as. I think the yeah, MP, that's, uh, that's one of the that's the early version you're talking about. I think. Oh, okay. All right. Let's listen to what this geezer has to say. Best kept secrets. Um, to be honest, you see a police car go by, you don't look at that closely at the badge on the door. I don't think it's widely understood what uh, the force actually does. Uh, and what capabilities it it, it has? Why is the cap and only holding horses? The Ministry of Defence Police, or huh? So why is this the cap? Apart from the fucking big Irish bloke there, the fucking cap only holds the horses. Mm. <laughs> the, the, behind, the scarlet the caps. Kid. The scarlet caps. Oh, he's refer. Sorry, Green King's referring to the RMP. Um, okay, so let's listen to what the lady says. MDP are a unique civilian police force, providing policing and protection for people, key sites and assets for the MOD. The force consists of around 3,000 officers spread across the country. Question, boys. Go. The normal police, are they referred to also as a civilian police force? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Is there a difference? Is there, is there a, obviously you've got the military police. But I wouldn't yeah. call them civilians, would you? No, I call so, them fake soldiers. No, you're well, not the RMP. RMP or the MDP. Um, the, the just the normal police. Sorry, are they just yeah, classed? Yeah. Are they just classed as civilians? Um, yeah. So the MDP, I'm assuming, unlike the fucking RMP, they're posted at fucking uh, MOD sites because you see them all the time outside. Um, is it Parliament? 
they around sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yeah, do like the security kind of for the Prime Minister and stuff, don't they? Yeah. Whereas okay. the RMP are the obvious. Yeah, yeah. The city police are more, I'm assuming, on the street doing whatever the hell they want. I got you. Country, protecting road, everything defence related from married quarters to nuclear submarines for the national security of the Wait, UN. hang on, hang on, sorry, I've got to jump in here. I've never seen MDP officers in around married quarters. I've never seen anything like that around Panther State. We've got like the, the one uh, the bloke who drives around in the fucking patrol yeah. vehicle and that's it. Yeah. I Honestly, know. all I see is the PCSO. Anywhere. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. United Kingdom, they are critical. <laughs> Although it's not immediately obvious that these are not the regular police, there's one key difference. The MDP carry firearms. So do civvy police. So do civvies. <laughs> well, I, I think probably what they're trying to say is that is all, of, all of them do, whereas civvy police, you only have one in so many coppers carrying firearms? Yeah, you have AFOs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why you shouldn't be armed? That yeah, makes sense. One X two, one Glock, one C eight. Glock seventeen. Oh, I did say C eight. Is C eight? Yeah. There you go. Officers are armed with the Colt C. Oh, boys. Okay, so the other one, nine A one. Boys, I got it. Colt C eight. Eight as their primary weapon system. Did plus you know magazines. The, the Glock seventeen. MDP Gen five rally. is their second. Glock seventeen, nine milli piece. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, keep you keep you safe. Secondary weapon system, oh. magazines on the belt, a Taser X2 and battery pack, also wired up beneath the body armour to a camera on the head. Every, also carry every officer in, I think, the whole of the, you know, British um, system has to have a one of them body cameras now, don't they? Yeah, it, they have to have a camera of some sort that main that main, the main system has access to. Yeah, and on a, on a, on a, but I've never seen one on a hat. I've seen a couple. You're a hat. Yeah, shut up, you fucking melt. Some <laughs> <laughs> handcuffs and incapacitant spray, like the regular police force. <gasps> so that's the spray. Oh, I'm yeah. that. An array of equipment. Hell yeah! Which provides them with various options. I love smelling farts. So, would you rather <laughs> would you rather carry this sort of stuff than full um, combat rig? What full C throw shooters yeah. belt, body armor, yeah. C eight to mark? Uh, yeah, because 100%. the police the police stuff, especially armed police, look like they get a lot of Gucci's, don't they? Yeah, but it's a different job, though. To be fair, yeah, but you'd have thought if you're going to have one of the best militaries in the world, you give them the best kit in the world. Oh, I mean, we've got the sass for that. We... Well, yeah, they get all the good shit. Everyone else gets the hand-me-downs. I know. <laughs> anyway, I mean, the Marine Science closely got C8s now. Oh, yeah, they have. Yeah, they, they do, have, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking... Also, the Ranger... The Army Ranger Regiment. So oh, we should Royal react Ranger to the Regiment. Army Ranger Regiment. I saw that the other month. Yeah. And I thought about it, but I wasn't, like, back on YouTube properly yet. We'll, yeah. we'll come I'm back to that. I'm going to save one of my comments. I'm going to save one of my really All right. good comments. Hold, hold up. Hold up. And we'll do that next week because we're, we're doing uh, Tuesday to Friday, 8 till, no, 8.30 to 10, Saturday, 8.30 to 11. So we can do it Wednesday next week or Tuesday next week. I'm down for Tuesday. Uh, I'm on course all week next week. So if I can make it, I'll that doesn't, probably call you Kevin. That doesn't mean that you, you, you're going to be in call in the evening, right? I don't know, but it's a good excuse. Yeah, okay. Well, if you can make it, you can make it. If not, we'll do it another night. Uh, but I, I need to, I, I don't want to run out. Of, what? Have you heard of the CTSFO? Yes, I have. That's a separate video. All right, anyway, continue. And from their voice and their own demeanor and their way of negotiating with a person, that's. Is that not a trigger for Mandy Falls and Right <laughs> no. up to the other end okay. of the scale, which is. What trigger? The lethal force. <laughs> Stay with your Police officer a taser! I presume these are all training, right? Two red dots in your chest, look at them now! Police officer? Yeah, of course we're not. It wouldn't be otherwise. We're civilian police officers, you know, we're not above the law. We're working under the Queen's peace, not in a war zone. Former Navy man Russ is. I'll tell you what I like there. You might have missed it. You might have missed it. 
you might not be inclined to look at a bit of hand posture. Oh. Above the law. You see this geezer's grip on here? Yeah, that's some it's nice grip, man. You see, you see the twisted, twisted grip? Uh, and he's trying to do the C-clamp. He's trying to C-clamp, but he's doing it wrong. Yeah, but you don't see that that much, do you? He's trying, but... Mm. I mean, but you don't see it that much. It's not that common, hey? It's not common. Um, oh, hey, Rex. I didn't realise you'd uh, bounced into here. Um, yeah, you don't. I, I've. You don't see that in the UK very often. That that kind of posture, in that grip. You'd have thought they would have CQB like um, angled grips, wouldn't you? I mean, you see, you can see it when the CTS of the hill was doing the CQB with us, can so. But oh, okay. I mean, he, he's kind of doing the C clamp, just that his finger is in the, the, the wrong position. But oh well. Yeah. You, you can understand why. Well, I I was always under the impression, right, that when you see co when you see QB and you're coming through a doorway, right, and you you're uh, left and right arches, and you're coming through, you want to have a smaller body position as possible. So you'd have thought you'd yeah. have an angled grip so it keeps your arm in and under and tucked rather than out with the C grip. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I, it seems a bit, really a bit backwards. Malaysia. Um, as if you just said you'd body. rather all that bollocks fucking Remy would say that you're a bunch of rems. Hey, fuck off, Ara. You're, you're the <laughs> cunt. You're the cunt <laughs> watching, watching the stream, wasting your time watching me. You've triggered him. You've triggered him. <laughs> oh, you've set him on one now. I'm going to go back to, I'm gonna go now, back to, I'm going to go back to private military contracting. Fuck you lot. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's, he's going to bring me in after this stream. Like, I'm going to bring him funny. Oh, yeah, I might. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do it. Anyway, shut the fuck up. Let's carry on. <laughs> We're working under the Queen's <laughs> Yeah, yeah I know. Over. I know. Former Navy man Russ is a firearms instructor. Today, he's playing the role of an armed subject, which he says is essential for instructors to see close up where students go wrong. Although there are. What's up? Sure. Sorry, I got interrupted by a small female. Our similarities with his previous military career, there are also distinct differences. When I was serving in the armed forces, we had rules of engagement cards that basically said what, what they could. What are they, boys? <laughs> card Alpha. How and fun. and yellow card. Card Bravo. Oh fuck you! Oh 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 oh! oh he's a ramp. Oh, oh fuck you, you little dick do when you could shoot and when you couldn't <laughs> when i joined the mdp the decision to fire or not was was down to the the police officer on the ground yeah uh, that's that's a big thing I've, I've seen that before right i've seen that before when they did that investigation into the um uh the young lad that was shot in london you remember he had a bb gun no but makes sense. Did, anybody, did anybody remember that no i don't remember it there was that was when all, all the riots happened in london there has I been a lot that. of riots. Yeah, that well, matter, the it. last time there was a good riot, anyway. Um, so this this kid had a BB gun, and um, the the police officer shot him because he deemed it to be a firearm, and he wasn't putting it down right. And uh, the the basically the the um, civilian uh, Ministry of Justice turned around and said, well, the officer had authority to shoot if he felt he had to do so but they said basically it's none of their fault it was down to the officer's pure um judgment and i don't and I, in the army in the army if you've got card alpha and you deem it under card alpha the army said that's your reason to shoot so you're safe and you're protected whereas officers are thrown under the bus if they fuck up i mean technically he's in the clear because anything which is silhouetted as a firearm is a is a threat to your person so you can fire yeah but i don't yeah. know why they didn't back him so that's kind of painful for them yeah but he you know, it's so complex isn't it like in the in the moment that guy is probably thinking right i've done all this training it's time to go i mean in, in this moment, he really likes to cry about politics so you know yeah it's difficult it's difficult. As as it gets sticky, oh. Everybody wants to start crying. Exactly. Oh, um, RR, I'll hook you up, mate. Just uh, send me a message on Discord. Could uh, one of the mods put a Discord link in the um, in the chat for me, please? Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. Sure. Thanks, boys.
officer whether they decide to shoot or not in that split second will be poured over by a court or whatever for however long it takes. If we think it's necessary to fire a shot, we fire one shot, we reassess. If the threat's still there and the shot's still justify, have a, a follow-up shot. Oh, You're in the you know, room! Come to the door! So you know what would be good is if we reacted to American police shootouts versus British police shootouts. <laughs> because, <laughs> because they... Huh? A guy yeah, sniped yeah, somebody yeah. through moving traffic over two lanes. <laughs> well, th you, I, I saw that one. Is that the angry cop? Not angry cops. Don't uh, operate it. Yeah, bro. Oh, I've just seen that. And just fired two nice rounds into the yeah. truck through moving traffic over two lanes. That's, That's amazing. It was oh, a smooth, it was oh, a yeah, smooth yeah. takeout, bro. And somebody thought it was nice to go and walk up to a guy lying on the ground after being shot. Well, when it's he's probably got a firearm him. next to him, right? Yeah, like yeah, it doesn't um, make sense. And then but, the bloke gets fucking dropped, and then these two lasses just keep on walking up to him, and the guy's screaming from the other side of the highway, get the fuck out of the way! Probably can't hear anyway. him, to be fair. Yeah, but there's a bloke who's just been fucking two taps on the other side of the street. Yeah, but they don't know if it's a drive-by, I suppose. Like, it's like it's like eight lanes of moving traffic. Yeah, the guy manages to find a, an opening and just perfect little window. There. That is that it's is sick. Problem. It is sick, but bad at the same time. But um, the Americans they have they have that uh, standoff rule, don't they? Stand your ground. I mean, it depends only, on the state. certain states have that. Which is oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, so uh, you have the and it's weird because you have the castle, then you have your stand your ground rule. The okay. castle rule is if they come into your house, then you can do something. Or if they come to your property, then you can do something. Then stand your ground is if they pose a threat, then you can do something. So if For you some people, if you feel threatened enough, up. you can you can stand your ground. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. they can need to be within yeah. limits. So if someone's coming up at you, just like shoving it, you can't just go out and get them. Well, I'm well, I'm not. Mo I'm not moving now. This isn't fucking so, GTA Five. Some no, some PC, pull out a bazooka and just fucking turn them into pink. Some there. woman would like push her trolley into the back of my leg, my, back of my leg, and I just two tap her. I've seen a video. <laughs> <of that. laughs> anyway, anyway, back, back, back onto subject. Let's finish this video. Uh, we've, 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 we 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 haven't finished passing judgment on these guys. As soon as the threat is neutralised. And we're happy that everyone's oh, safe, the threat no longer exists. Not then the door, we please. become the carers. So, the next tactic we're going to show you is a two vehicle friendly. Call out. Yeah. We've got one subject yeah, vehicle, door, white mate. Band, want to get you? one white subject inside. Want a uh, he's been Wait, hang on, hang on. Arms. Gonna... What, was, what was that? What did he just say? I'm only holding a big gun, come to the door. Everybody, hold up. Listen to what this man says. We've got one subject vehicle, a white van, with one white subject inside. Uh, he's that's a, a a great description. Very nice like description. That, that's right. So that's the literally one. everyone no. in the school apart from Rex. <laughs> yeah, but that but here's the point, right? Here's the point. Yeah. The white guy inside. What about his clothes? You go I mean, in. Are you going to go? Oh, there's two white guys. It's, it's, it's basically like around. somebody saying one icy one meal in the supermarket. Why? Well, yeah, but you you know you give the information. Guy. You need the information. Yeah, All right, yeah. guy wearing yeah, black hoodie, done. <laughs> so, stuntman says no narwhal tusk in their kit. Not required, mate. Little Polish prison folk do that in London, oh, don't they? I've been, um, on the London bridge attack. That's I've it. Like, That's it. Doing, we'll, we'll add that to the list for tonight's stream, yeah? He's been known uh, for carrying can. firearms. We're going to do our best to stop that vehicle, contain it with the police vehicles. Um, and then try and talk him out of the, out of the vehicle. Hold on. Yeah, actually, that ain't happening. He's a very, very angry one um, in that van. He's going to get out, point a gun at our subject, like our officers, yeah. and they are going to um, hopefully use some. Oh, uh, okay. To stop that. So he is going to. Correctly, this should be a suit. In suit, the scenario, and then give we'll him some shit. A bit of first aid afterwards. Oh, police, show me your hands! Back, back, back off! Now. Back, back off! Back off! Back off! Back off! I would have shot him back then. Yeah, yeah. If he has a gun in his hand, he's dead. Hey, I'll yeah, tell you, I'll tell you one thing that always pisses me off when I speak to people that aren't within like the military community. When they say about, um, oh, when they, when a terrorist gets shot and then um, survives, and they all go, oh, I'd have killed him, I'd have finished him off. No, well, you, if you don't have a, a person to investigate, 
where's the intelligence going to come from? Well, you just use their bloody brains. Mm. If you if you kill the person, you don't know why they've done it, how they've done it, where they got the firearm from, and you can prevent future things. But anyway, back to non-serious mode. Use excess force before sort of one side. If we don't use enough force and somebody gets shot or, or seriously injured, then we'd be criticised either way. So we really do walk that knife edge. Exercise, exercise, command. Contact, front! Get back! We're looking after infrastructure in the wrong hands of the wrong people. Could be detrimental to the world. If you can imagine atomic weapons establishments, Clyde submarine bases, a police launched by armed MOD police officers. If they were compromised, that would affect the whole, you know, the national security of the UK. Uh, so, yeah, it's critical. Well, that explains it. Enjoyed this video. That, uh, what do we reckon, boys? Out of ten, with one uh, with one being RMP and ten being SF. Four, two, five. You're gonna go two. Great. Yeah. See, I I rate a healthy a healthy six.